Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. In this series of videos, we're gonna be talking about core concepts and strategies for the early childhood teacher certification exams. Use this video and other videos to help you on your teacher certification exam. Let's do another one involving author's purpose. And I'm just gonna highlight the four major purposes of writing. Now this is important because we want a child when they're reading something to understand the author's purpose behind writing something. We have here to persuade, entertain, inform, and describe. And there's others too, but these could be the more basic ones. So if I was, let's say, reading Charlotte's Web, hopefully you'd say Charlotte's Web, E.B. White was trying to entertain, right? But if I was reading something on how spiders are good for the environment and how they're saving the world, well, maybe that would be more on persuade. Or if I was reading a science textbook, a science textbook, and had something to do with the life cycle of a spider, that might be informed. So there's, there's different purposes of writing, and we want to give young readers exposure to a lot of different types of writing. All right, let's look at number five. All right, let's take that idea of author's purpose and apply it. Like, for example, in this one right here, what's the author's purpose in this one? It's an informational text and it's to inform. Or how about this one right here? It's a narrative text and it's to entertain. And level texts have a combination. They have informational text, they have narrative text, they have persuasive text that wants you to like something or not like something. They have expressive text and poems. All right, let's read over number five. It says, five, children who are emergent writers, that means just starting out. So. I'll put down here, just starting out first grade, would benefit most from opportunities to A, explore and learn about a variety of writing materials, B, talk with a teacher about writing, C, copy the text of favorite storybooks, D, use magnetized letters to create pictures and designs. Okay. Well, we want our emergent writers, our first graders, to get exposure to a lot of different types of writing. We want them to learn and explore these different types of writing. We want that young writer to know that there's different ways to write. Sometimes we write to inform. Sometimes we write to entertain. Sometimes we write to persuade or to express. The answer here is A. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.